Hi, I'm internet garbage pastor Kevin Garcia, and today <laughs> I've never tried that info that intro before, and I kind of like it. The internet's garbage pastor. That's funny. Um. Uh. Anyways, hey, hey. Uh. Let me. Mm -hmm. Let's just start over. Hey, I'm the internet's digital pastor Kevin Garcia, and I'm here to talk to you about the possibility that you might actually be right. For a lot of my experience growing up as a closeted queer person, I had this sneaking suspicious that I was always right. I remember writing in my journal specifically, like, isn't it enough for me just to love Jesus? Why isn't it enough for me to just love Jesus? Can't loving Jesus just be enough? And of course, like, I didn't really know what I meant by loving Jesus because that was uh, uh, still a question I had to wrestle with. But basically, I think at the time, what I meant by that was like, isn't it enough to just love people? Isn't it enough to do right by the world? Isn't it enough to fight for what is just? Why does it matter who I'm falling in love with? Why does it matter who uh, turns me on? And that was a big thing for me. It was just like, well, the Bible says it's very clear right there in black and white and English, which by the way, the Bible was written in, uh, you know, Hebrew, Aramaic, ancient Greek, um, not English, just in case you were wondering that. There was something in me at the very beginning of my life and my journey trying to struggle with LGBTQ identity, that something said to me is just like, you know what, Kevin, you're right. Like, this is okay. What you're feeling right now, this attraction towards other boys, it's totally normal. Because you're right, it did come from deep inside. I remember another journal entry I wrote, I said, I don't understand, God. These feelings felt like they came from somewhere deep inside of me. I know that I didn't choose these things, and I was right. I never chose my sexual orientation. I never chose to be attracted to other boys. And so what does that mean? Did God do this to me? Was it nature? Was it nurture? Well, my question really is, does it matter? Because I'm here now. And at least according to studies and science, trying to suppress your sexual orientation or gender identity leads towards incredible mental, physical anguish. Sometimes that manifests itself as anxiety and depression or other mental disorders. Sometimes it develops into physical illnesses. Uh, I know that I had migraines every single month um, until the year that I came out because I was so stressed out all the time. I have friends of mine who have developed autoimmune disorders, heart disorders, because their body was trying to maintain some sort of stability even when we could not provide that for them. Your body is telling you something, right? Your body has been whispering to you the whole time saying, hey, it's okay. This is, this is okay. This is good. And that can be so hard to do because like, the Bible, the Bible says. And on top of that too, like even after we become affirming, I know so many queer Christians and queer people of faith who keep going back to that old question of what if I'm wrong? What if my parents and my pastor and my church and all these other people who said that homosexuality was a sin and is gonna send me to hell, what if they're right? And my question is what if? What if they are right? Do you think they're right? Do you think that homosexuality is a sin, really? Do you think that you're gonna go to hell really in your heart of hearts? Or is that the ego? Is that fear trying to control the present situation? Is that fear, which is trying to help you survive and you know, not spend an eternity in eternal conscious torment, you know, that makes sense. It makes sense that your body would feel this way. So what we have to do is then speak kindly to our fear and say, hey, I understand that you helped me survive for a long time, but I've got new information now. And I want to live differently. I want to do something differently. You can just kind of like take a deep breath and realize it's okay to feel fear. And then I will ask you the question, what if you're right? What if you're right about what the Bible says about homosexuality, that it's not a sin? What if you're right that God accepts you just as you are? What if you're right that you are still called to be a preacher or a pastor or a worship leader or a children's minister or someone who wants to work in the clergy in general? What if you're right that God never left you the whole time? What if you were right that you are fearfully and wonderfully made? What if you are right that's exciting, because if you're right, it changes everything. And uh, I'm here to tell you something. If you're out there wondering, is it okay for me to be gay? It is. Or bi, or queer, pan, trans, non-binary, whoever you are out there, whatever your body is telling you, whatever is going on in here, if there's a truth that, you're, that the Lord is speaking to you from the inside of this temple, the temple of your body, 
where love resides. If love is trying to tell you something, you should listen. Listen to that still small voice. Listen to that intuition. Listen for that little voice of God that's present in every single one of you saying, it's okay, I'm here. So yeah, what if you're right? Yeah, of course we could be wrong, but so could they. That's the other thing that gives me a lot of peace. I told, I accept the fact I totally could be wrong, but uh, what if, what if they're wrong? What if you're right? Ooh, that just gets me excited. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, go ahead and like, share and subscribe. Comment down below. Tell me, uh, do you still struggle with this kind of fear? How do you overcome it? I'd love to know. Share it with the community. Wisdom is caring, y'all. Additionally, if you want more content like this, you can become a supporter on Patreon. Even as little as one or two bucks a month really does make a difference. Uh, I've also got a podcast. I've got a book coming out in December. All those links are in the description box below. I love you. And I'll be back later this week with another video. I'm really into winking these days. <laughs> Bye, y'all.